Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine. And you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me, guys. Nice to see you. How was your weekend? It was tired. <laughs> really? It was tired. Yes, because didn't you rest? My, my daughter was is sick and oh. it's very difficult. Oh, you take care of her? Yes. Oh, totally understand. That's what I said. I hope that your um daughter get well soon, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. My bell, you're welcome. Guys, we will wait for the other ones to join so we can start classes. Let's see, we are 12 right now. Vamos a que se conecten y empezamos, okay? Hi, good evening. Hello, Osvin. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Great, Osvin. Estamos esperando a los demás para iniciar clases. Okay. Ya vamos a iniciar. Les iba a decir que me den un segundo. Me levantaré por agua y después para ya, para ya tenerla acá. Deme un segundito, please. Hi, Mr. Daniel. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Bien. Yo creo que no te vas a conectar. <laughs> no, aquí casi empieza a llover, pero, pero esperaría yo de que cuando comience a llover no, no me desconecte, porque quiere internet bien chueco. Ah, es que casi no se oye cuando empieza a llover. Sí. sí. Se escucha bien. Y mis olmos se cortan las conexiones, falla, hermano. Sí, falla. Mis, mis olmos está aquí. Sí, se levantó a traer agua, dice. Ah, mancha. Ah, ok. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Daniel. Thank you very much for waiting. I believe we will start. Está un poquito, ¿verdad? Pensé que se iban a conectar los demás, pero we will start now. We are 16, okay?
Thank you. Okay, guys. Me dejan ver. Eh, sorry, me dejan saber si me pueden ver, please. Or no yet. Not yet. Okay, okay, one good evening, Daniel. How are you? I'm fine. But I'm good. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking me. Let me see now. One moment. No. And I don't want to um get out of the meeting. One second, guys. Do you see me now? Me ven ahora? Sí, verdad? Creo que sí. Yes. No sé qué estaba pasando, pero it's fine. Okay, guys, so welcome to the class. I hope that you are doing awesome and I hope that you have enjoyed uh, the weekends a lot. The weekends a lot. So um, let's see. Today we will have a new topic, all right? We have a new topic, guys. And uh, we will have a review about previous topics. So could you please tell me what was the last topic about? Who wants to tell me what was the last topic about, guys? ¿Quién se acuerda de lo que estábamos viendo el último día que nos vimos? Eso fue Friday. Present perfect for... Present perfect for... Present continuous. Yes, it was present continuous. Exactly, present continuous. Very good. All right, so uh, we have a practice today about uh, present continuous. Let me go ahead and um, share the screen. Allow me just a moment. Do you see the screen? Sorry. Yes. Okay, perfect. So today, besides having this practice about present continuous, guys, we will go ahead and study the verb to be in past. This is again a review about the verb to be. And um, I hope that we can go ahead and master this topic by tonight. Okay, this is the purpose that you manage. Okay, manage this topic for tonight. So let's see, this is the class 14, by the way. I just want to make sure 14. All right, so that means that tomorrow we will have the end of the week, let's say, right? Tenemos la, la, la finalización de la semana, verdad? Tomorrow. Para que completemos la tare las tareas. Sí, tomorrow will be. Okay. Just one moment. All right, great. So guys, in order for this, uh, in order to, to make this practice, all right, we have to choose the best answer, okay? So let me stop sharing and share the correct screen, okay? 
Allow me just a moment to, to share the correct screen. Do you see this cream, guys? Yes, we do. Perfect. So, guys, um, here we have some uh, options for you. Uh, the purpose is to answer the question, what is the person doing, all right? Uh, what is the person doing in that case is adam so what is adam doing you will answer one of the questions below so let's see i will start with uh julio cesar merino julio cesar merino what is adam doing um adam doing is real tipak all right, let's go ahead and choose one option from A, B, C, or D. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and option A. Option A, perfect. Yes. So I am reading a book. Uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, kill me, kill me. No worries, it's fine. C, A, option C. Option C. He yes. is reading a book, right? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, perfect, very good. He is reading a book. Let's choose it. <clears throat> Sorry, let me um, share sound. Okay. I believe everyone is connected now. Very good, all right. So, what is very good, Hula? You did it great, okay? Let's great. see. Um. Marielo Janet, are you there, Marielo Janet? Hello, teacher. Hello, Marielo. I will ask you a question. Uh, do you see the screen? Ve la pantalla? Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. So, uh, Marielo, what is Betty doing? Is a, B, C, or D? What is the best answer? She isn't listening to music. You are listening to music. She is listening to music or he isn't listening to music. What is the best answer? Uh, he is, is not listening to music. D. He Letter D. D. He, isn't, he isn't listening to music. Is that the correct answer? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. No. No, the letter C. Letter C? Letter C, she is listening to music. Yes. Is that the correct one? Yes. Okay. Let's see, let's put the letter C. Okay, Marielos, let's see. Because we have two um, uh, choices here, two choices, okay? She's listening to music. Very good. That's the correct answer, she, okay? She is listening to music. Let's see the next one. What is she doing?
Let's see, Lisette, could you please answer that question? What is she doing? Mm, the, she is writing letters. She's writing letters. She is writing letters. Okay, letter D, right? Yes. All right, perfect, very good. Okay, so uh, guys, that is a question uh that she is let's see uh that you are uh, you are asking to them okay mabel what are you doing let's suppose that you are one of them and i'm asking you mabel what are you doing we are cutting paper letter d letter d we are cutting paper right Okay, very yes, good, yes. Mabel, good job. Remember that this you guys, the you here, it's in plural, okay? In plural. It's like if I am asking you, ¿Qué están haciendo ustedes? All right? Are you doing? Yes? So siempre que vean esa pregunta, tienen que ver el contexto, ¿sí? Porque también yo puedo decir, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo tú? que sería lo mismo, pero siempre vamos a tratar de ver, ver el contexto. Si usted es más, bueno, si usted está con más personas, yo le digo, what are you doing? Ok, eh, y los veo a todos, me estoy refiriendo a qué están haciendo ustedes, ¿sí? Pero si solo estás tú, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo tú? Ok, siempre va a depender del contexto, guys. Very good. Uh, let's see the next one. Uh, Daniel Archimedes, what is she doing? Let's see. Let me see. She's gluing. She's gluing. She's gluing. Letter C, yes. Uh, letter C, she's gluing. Let's see. Very good. Perfect. She's gluing. Interesting, right? That verb is interesting. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go to the next one. Um, Fatima, Denise, could you please help me to answer what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's suppose that you are she. We are counting. You are counting? Yes. Letter A? Yes. Sure. Oh no, we are talking. All right. Letter C? Sure. Yes. Okay, let's see. Very good. We are talking. Okay, the next one will be for Osvin, Osvin, what are you doing? Um, I am watching you. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> and according <laughs> to the to the extreme, um, according ah. to the stream, what are you doing? I mean, in this case, will be what are you doing? Let's suppose, Osvin, that you are one of them. Usted es uno de ellos ahorita. Yo le pregunto, ¿qué están haciendo? What are you doing? Um, we, we are counting. Letter C, right? Yes. Perfect. We are counting. Let's go to the next one. Marcos Antonio Melgar. What is Annie doing? Annie is she, the one that is in yellow. Not Serena. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She. So what is Annie doing? Let's see. Marcos Antonio? Uh, 
Sorry, teacher. Uh, letter D. Letter D. She is drawing. Is that correct? Yeah. Let me ask you and you will answer. What is Annie doing? Marcos? I will ask and you will answer. What is Annie doing? Uh, it's letter D. It's letter D you told me. But can you please just answer the question? What is Annie doing? <laughs> And he's doing, she is drawing. She is drawing, perfect, very good. Okay, let's see. Yes, good job. All right, very good guys. You got an eight because we had just eight and, uh, questions, okay? You did an amazing job. Guys, so um, I will ask, let's say, Sabrina. How do you form uh, the present continuous or the present progressive? What is the formula for making this verb to be? Plus, no, subject plus I. B, subject plus B, mm -hmm. plus verb in ing okay very good let's see one moment marcos Amicar, could you please still tell me a sentence in using present progressive <clears throat> in affirmative form in affirmative Okay, teacher. Um, I eating pupusas. Okay, like that. Yes. <laughs> okay, Sabrina, could you please repeat the the formula? Subject plus to be plus. Sorry. Subject, okay, plus to be. Let's see, just a moment, sorry. Let me change my keyboard. All right, um, subject plus to be, right? Yes. And then? A verb in ing. ing form, okay, plus? Complement. Complement. Perfect. All right. So let's see. Let's follow this formula. We have subject here, right? Uh, Marcos Amilcar I. Now let's go with the verb to be. Where is the verb to be? Um. Oh, okay. We missed that. All right. I am. And then ing, right? I am eating and then compliment, pupusas. Okay, good job. All right, let's see. I will ask now um, Kenny. Kenny, could you please help me to make this sentence in negative form? Um, sorry, teacher. Um, neg negative form, I am. Eating pupusas. In negative. In negative. In negative. Okay. I am not mm -hmm. eating pupusas. I am not eating pupusas. Very good. So for this, uh, for this sentence, uh, the formula will be subject plus to be plus not, right? Plus ing form plus complement, right? Guys? Yes, teacher. Guys, so we just add the. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you're still asleep, you guys. Now you're you're tired, right? It's Monday. <laughs> you're tired of of weekends. All right. So let's see. Um, Jennifer, could you hear us now? Nos puede escuchar Jennifer ahora? Yes. Ah, okay. Sure. Sorry. Cada vez que yo le trataba de escribir, ya no estaba en la reunión. Me decía, Jennifer is not part of the meeting. Me decía. Entonces, oh my God. Pero qué bueno que ya no entrar y, y volver a, a escuchar. Okay. So, Jennifer, we are talking. We are, we're having a review about um, present continuous. Okay. So, um, I would like to ask you, Jennifer, do you know how we can make this, um, sorry, how, how we can make a yes, no question based on this sentence? Oh. I am eating pupusas. Uh, yes, no question. I, question. Yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Short yes, no. answer. I mean, short questions with short answers. Any, uh, anyway, uh, based on the sentence, basada en la en la en oh, esta oración. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, am I? Am I? Very good. Am I? Eating pupusas. Good job. Am I eating pupusas like that? Just that. Based in this sentence. All right. Is it good, guys? What is it missing on that? <laughs> what is amazing here? Very good, Jennifer. But there is one detail. Sign. Uh, sorry. Sign. Interrogative. Uh huh. Thank you. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Very good. Question mark. Guys, no les pasa que a veces. Ustedes saben, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la respuesta y todo? Y, y de tanto que lo piensan y lo repiensan que se les olvida. Entonces, ahorita que me estaban diciendo un montón de opciones, se me quedó la página en blanco y, y no me acordaba. Y luego, question mark. Sure. Uh, ok, what is question mark? Is This is question mark. Signo de interrogación. Exactly. Mm -hmm. question, question mark. mark. Okay. Question question what sorry question mark like that mm -hmm. very good jennifer thank you guys so how how would how would i change this uh, formula guys como cambia entonces esta formula julio cesar como lo cambiaríamos basado en esta oración que va de primero Based on this sentence, sorry, based on the, on the yes, no uh, question, ¿cómo pondríamos la fórmula, guys? A ver, Julio. To, to be subject. Okay, one moment. To be, ooh, very good. To be, and then? Subject. Good job. Subject, and then? Um, uh, ING. ING. ING for complement. ING form and uh, complement and then? Yes, uh, question mark. Good job. A round of applause for Julio. Very oh, good. It's, it's a miracle. No, it's not a miracle. It is because you, yes. you can do it, okay? <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> Very it's good. It. So, guys, if you se fijan, no solamente ustedes están manejando cómo hacer una oración para los que nos cuesta, guys. Eh, una estructura, formar una estructura, ¿verdad? A veces uno dice, no, pero es que la gramática, la estructura, pueden ayudarse, guys, en, este, en estos momentos, cuando estamos aprendiendo ahorita, ¿verdad? En lo básico, ya van para intermedio, pero igual, ahorita empezando, ustedes pueden apoyarse mucho con las fórmulas, ¿sí? Y eso les va a ayudar. Cuando ustedes ya estén avanzados, ni se van a acordar de las fórmulas. Ustedes automáticamente los van, a, los van a traer. Así como Jennifer nos lo dijo, probablemente no se sabía la fórmula, pero me lo dijo así. Entonces, pues este es uno de los tips para alguno de ustedes. Sí, porque acuérdense, no todos aprendemos iguales. Yo, por ejemplo, soy una persona muy visual y que tiene que tener este tipo de detalles, yo aprendo con este tipo de fórmulas, yo siempre aprendí inglés así, entonces es un método realmente 
Y ajá, es una forma ajá. de cómo usted puede seguir organizando las diferentes estructuras y tiempos que tenemos. Así que, pues, si se fijaron, ustedes no solamente me pudieron dar un ejemplo, sino que también eh, me brindaron fórmulas para hacerlo. Very good, guys. Okay. Let me see. Good job. Thank you, Ezekiel. So, let, let's do the, the last thing here. Give me a WH question form, okay? A WH question form. And the WH question form will be for Luis Ernesto Gomez. Luis Ernesto Gomez will help me to create the formula for the WH question. Just the formula. And Jonathan, no sé si está como listener, o Julio Cesar Ramirez. Mm -hmm. Any of two, uh, any of you guys? Nobody? Siempre avisa, me guys. ¿Quién es el listener? Por el momento tengo a Christian y a Maggie. Sorry, Liz. Jonathan, teacher. Jonathan, okay. So, what about Luis and Julio César? Luis, Hello. Marina, Vanessa. Oh, okay. Luis is here. Okay, Luis, ayúdeme ese con la fórmula. Marina, Vanessa, are you here? No sé si Julio César dijo que era listener, guys. Yeah. Yes, es que se me okay. había trabado. Thank you. I am here. Okay. I am here, teacher. Julio me dijo que sí, verdad? Sí, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, Marina, could you please help me to make the sentence? Luis nos va a brindar la fórmula y Marina nos va a crear la oración en WH question, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Luis, give me the, the, the formula for a WH question. First, the, the W. WH question, ok, very good. And second, subject. Subject, ok. Ver to be. Verb to be, and then? Complement. Just that? Sure? Uh, very in ING. <laughs> very in uh, ING form, and then? <laughs> complement. Sure? <laughs> yes, sure. complement, and then? And then, other. Others, I, Luis. <laughs> No, there's question this mark. Question. <laughs> I know others. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. Okay, very good. Marina, could you please help me to make one sentence based on this uh, formula? Uh, when? Mm -hmm. Good. When we have the WH question. Mm -hmm. Based on the same example. When do... Um, mm. Let's follow the, 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 let's follow the formula. Vamos a, vamos a seguir la formula. Tenemos el WH. ¿Qué le sigue? Plus. Aquí vamos When a ver I... si está bien la fórmula, right? <laughs> Ajá. Pero subject... When, when Siempre I. Siempre siguiendo, ajá, when I. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ok, when I, and then. Eating. When I. Mm, pero dice la fórmula verb to be. To be. Is the formula correct, guys? Is the formula correct? Yeah, not sure. No, I, right? I, what, no. Is, what is going on with the formula? Be, to be. Okay, uh, where to be is? Um. Sabrina, you're, you're okay. Acuérdese que al final el ver to be actúa como auxiliar del verbo. Porque oh, el, el verbo principal es el ING, right? So, el verb to be es el auxiliar. Pero como los estamos llamando con verb to be en uh, ING for, por eso, pero al final sí es auxiliar. Uh, pero, ok, guys. Uh, Sabrina and Jaime, where is verb to be? Is, is, is it good here? 
Guys, ¿qué no. piensan? It's before subject. Before subject. Ok. Here. Yes. All right. So it's WH question plus verb to be plus subject plus ing form, right? One second. Uh, plus complement, right? Plus question mark. Okay, sorry, Marina. Could you please continue helping us? Okay, we have WH question and then we have verb to be, right? Okay. Verb to be. When I am. When? I am. I am? Sure. Eating. Are you sure of I am? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Solo tratemos de seguir la fórmula. Revisémosla de nuevo, Marina. Don't worry. We can make it, okay? Lo podemos hacer. When do you? Um, ¿Cuál es el que le sigue después de WH question, Marina? ¿Qué dice después de WH question? Bird to be. Exactly. So, what is the bird to be? En, en esta pregunta, vamos a, a, a enfocarnos en, el, perdón, en esta oración. Vamos a hacerla esta una pregunta. So, ¿cuál es el, el bird to be de esta oración? Um, very good. Um, good job. And then, what is the next option? What is the next step? Where to be plus? When am I? When am I? Uh -huh. Am I? Uh -huh. Very good. When am I? Good job. Y luego sí. ya pasamos, ya pasamos lo, lo, lo que cuesta acá con el MI. Y luego, ¿qué le sigue después del subject? Eating. Eh. Mm -hmm. Very good. When am I eating? Pupusas. Pupusas, and then? And subject market. Eh, ¿Cómo uh, se llama eso? Eh, question mark. Question mark. On, Very market. good. Question mark. All right, so when am I eating pupusas? Very good, Marina. You did it awesome, okay? Good job. Acuérdense que al final es tal, va, tal vez, sorry, eh, tratar de identificar cada cosita del, de la fórmula, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el WH question? ¿Cuál es el verb to be? ¿Cuál es el subject? ¿Cuál es el RNG form? ¿El complement? ¿Sí? Guys, yo les digo, háganme otra pregunta basada en esa fórmula. How would you make it? ¿Cómo lo harían? Where. What are Where. Right, hagamos because... una, pero completamente diferente. Because pupusas are important, because... right? I know. <laughs> ok, pero vamos a hacer una, una oración con diferente idea, ya no ir en pupusa, ya no el mismo verbo, ya no el mismo complemento, ya no el mismo subject, cambiemos con un she o un he, o con un Ana, o con un Liseto en Marcos, ¿sí? ¿Cómo haríamos otra? A ver, hay, hagámoslo todos. What are you doing? Ah, qué fácil. Con el he, con el she, o con alguien más. Con, como where, con where Liseto Where is set? Working now. Where is set? It's working now. Where is set? Okay, tenemos WH question. Where are 
And then, where, ¿qué sigue? Where, where to be. Is, where, where is, is Lisette? Uh -huh. Where is. Acuérdense primero el where to be. Where is Lisette? Working now. ING form? Working. Working. Complement? Now, yeah. right? And then, question mark, right? <clears throat> ¿Sí? Hagamos una última, ¿ok? The last one, the last one. Otro tipo de oración, otra idea, a ver. Why? Quiero una complicada, guys, una complicadita ahí. Why? Ok, why, ajá, why. Ajá, let's why? see, why. Mis almas. Ajá. Mis almas. Mis almas. Why, um, pero, ok, Julio, vamos despacito. Why, después de, de question mark, ¿qué va aquí? Is. Is. Is, right? O no sería are. No sería are, guys. Why, uh, wait, no. No. No, right? Ah, no. ok. Why, ¿por qué? Why, guys? Uh, is, is, why some? Is, third person. Is the reason. Yes. Is third person. Oh, yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so why? <laughs> what is the verb to be? La verdad que está fallando. Sí, person. Is. Are. Is. Is. Are. No, is. Julio. Is. No sé cómo. Is. No se, no yes. se ponga a confundirme por mi culpa, oye. <laughs> Está bien como me lo había dicho. Why is Miss okay. Olmos, Julio? Ok, let's continue. Uh, yeah. Speaking English. All right, very good. Good job. Good job, ok. Why is Miss Olmos speaking English? All right, good job. Perfect, Julio. You say you uh, you say uh, the address, address, address. <laughs> mm, okay. So, guys, any question about this? Any question about affirmative, negative, about yes, no question, and about um, WH question? No Please question? Teacher. Yes, tell me. It's just that... On Friday, we saw that we use ongoing, present perfect for ongoing action. We are talking about future, but now we are talking about present, right? How come? No. Is o sea, sí, pero no. Yes, okay. Sí, pero no. Es que lo que pasa, Sabrina, que on Friday, You were asking me a lot of questions about present continuous. Y, uh -huh. y, y yo lo que hice fue mencionarle todo lo que es present continuous, right? O presente progressive. Y uno de los usos, Sabrina, es que lo podemos también utilizar el present continuous o present progressive como futuro, ¿sí? ¿Cómo así? Pues yo puedo decir, um, I am going to the doctor, um, let's see, on Wednesday. I am going to the doctor on Wednesday, pero ese es otro uso. De hecho, ya lo vimos, pero espero yo tener otro refuerzo igual, ¿verdad? Con respecto a present continuous as a future. En este momento, el que estamos viendo son present continuous, ¿verdad? For ongoing activities, actividades que están pasando permanentemente, ¿sí? Que puede ser que sea ahorita que lo esté haciendo o puede ser que empezó esta actividad, ¿verdad? Y todavía se está desarrollando, pero todavía se mantiene en el presente. Se mantiene en el presente. Como por ejemplo, what is Sabrina doing from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m.? Sabrina is learning English. ¿Sí? Usted todavía está, está en el presente. Y tú se está diciendo on, una acción ongoing que está pasando, ¿ok? Frecuentemente y progresivamente. Usted está estudiando inglés de 8 a 10, ¿sí? Y siempre se mantiene en el presente, pero es un uso. También yo lo puedo utilizar el present continuous. De hecho, acá lo mixeamos una acción que está pasando en este mismo momento. Ahorita, ¿Sí? Segundo uso. Y tercer uso, Sabrina, cuando usted ocupa el present continuous como futuro. ¿Ok? Que significa que usted el propósito que está, le está dando es como futuro. 
que usted dice, teacher, um, en vez de, usted tiene tres maneras de decir un futuro, pero depende de su eh, propósito, depende de qué tan segura, va, de tan, qué tan seguridad, con tanta seguridad, perdón, va a pasar una acción. Si usted quiere decir que sí, exactamente, usted va a ir al doctor el, 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 el uh, miércoles, que usted ya tiene la cita, ya tiene todo ya, ok, you're sick, está enferma de hecho, o sea, todo, todo se dio para que usted vaya al doctor. Usted dice, I am visiting or I am going to the doctor on Wednesday. ¿Qué más 99% seguro que usted va a ir? ¿Sí? Esas son las tres maneras de hablar del futuro. Perdón que me metan en el futuro, pero es por lo mismo, para que esto quede claro. Segunda manera de hablar del, del futuro, yo puedo decir, I am going to go, o I am going to visit the doctor. Ahí ocupamos la estructura going to, y el going to se utiliza para una acción que usted ha planificado, ¿verdad? Que ya tiene la cita, ok, pero... Comparando las dos estructuras que son bien diferentes al present continuous, el going to es tal vez un poquito menos segura que el present continuous. Y la última es el will, ¿verdad? Que yo puedo decir, I will go to the doctor on Wednesday. Es como que de repente, Sabrina, usted está, tiene una, una flu, una gripe, y yo, sí, teacher, I will go to the doctor. Como que de repente usted me dice, sí, voy a ir al doctor, pero... No tiene la cita todavía, ¿verdad? Entonces es menos sobre qué pasa. Entonces son las tres formas de hablar del futuro. Pero en realidad son muy diferentes al present continuous. El present continuous solamente está funcionando en un uso de ellos para hablar del futuro. Pero lo contrario se utiliza para eh, expresar acciones que están sucedi sucediendo sorry, in this moment o ongoing actions que... La verdad son acciones progresivas que usted ha estado haciendo por un determinado tiempo un poquito más largo. Yes. Yes, teacher. So it depends the context and what I want to say. There you go. Uh -huh. Por eso es que hay un montón de usos en todas las estructuras y en todos los tiempos. Porque pues las así somos los humanos, ¿sí? Va a depender de lo que nosotros queremos decir, va a depender de las circunstancias. Entonces, para eso hay que acoplarnos a un uso siempre. No sé si Can estamos I... bien hasta aquí, guys, todos. Sí, Sabrina, sorry, you have a question. And, and, and I imagine that we can mix them in, in a paragraph, for example, we can. Of course, mix them. yes. Exactly. Ya cuando usted está hablando, whenever you're talking, whenever you're listening, whenever you're doing, uh, I mean, you are mixing the whole skills in English, you will listen everything. <laughs> everything, like, in a mix. Usted va a escuchar de todo, ¿verdad? Dependiendo si está en un listening, en una película, usted va a escuchar todas las estructuras, pero usted ya no va a pensar, de, oh, ¿qué estructura es esta? No, usted de una vez lo va a entender. Porque usted ya lo interiorizó en el idioma. Al principio, guys, cuando se está aprendiendo, por ejemplo, ahorita, es muy lógico que ustedes escuchen, vean una película, lean algo o hablen y ustedes vayan como etiquetando o identificando las estructuras o los tiempos. Oh, este tiempo es eh, eh, o oh, el que acabo de escuchar es este tiempo o esa es la estructura esta dice y es normal porque estamos aprendiendo a utilizar las estructuras aprendiendo a utilizar los tiempos los usos etcétera pero luego whenever you will whenever you speak guys you will do it very good you will do it great and you won't think even about grammar okay You will do it unconsciously, okay? Unconsciously. It is because you will inter, uh, internalize, sorry, internalize the English, right? So, eso. Any other question or any other comment, guys? Thank you. Teacher. Pregunten, pregunten, guys, pregunten. Ask. No? So they're good. All right. So I will stop sharing right now.
And let me let me continue um, sharing the, the screen because we will go ahead and talk about present, uh, sorry, we will talk about another topic, but I will ask you first to go to the page 37 and 38. We will work in pairs, okay? We will work in pairs. Uh, give me just a second. And the page 37 and 38. We will have an speaking and writing. Actually, it is a reading and, and, and writing activities, guys. Sorry because of this. But okay, go to this page. Page 37. Okay, page 37 and page 38. All right. We have a reading practice. All right, reading practice. And uh, we have here the employee's performance report, okay? Uh, let's see, yes, this is the employee's performance report, okay? We have here two employees, guys. We have uh, Raul Perez and we have Karen Solano. So this is the employee's performance report of them, okay? Um, so here we have, uh, let's, let's see what these two person have been doing good and what these people, two persons have been doing not so good, right? So for example, the employee shows commitment to work. If you have the X, it is because he is very committed to work. The employee is always punctual, punctual, all right? He is not punctual, all right? Sorry, Raul. The employee doesn't violate rules, okay? Good, all right, he's fine, all right? And there you will be able to see what the employee is doing and what the employee is not doing, all right? Based on this report. So leamos el report, el re report de cómo el employee, ¿verdad? Trabaja y abajo hay unas observations, okay? Aquí hay unas observaciones, miren, dice, he usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late work late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not proact he's not a proactive person, okay? Esto puede ser un feedback también, okay? ¿Qué pasa si de repente usted le dice, Sabrina, you know what? Uh, now that you are learning English, necesito que me haga un reporte de, de, de la... Um, how do you say that? Oh my God, I just forgot this word. Like performance, performance. Um, performance, guys, rendimiento, right? O desempeño, yes, desempeño, okay. Quiero un reporte del desempeño de Luis, okay? Un reporte de cómo se está desempeñando Luis. So, este es el employee's performance report. Entonces, y I need it in English, Sabrina. Lo quiero en inglés, ¿ok? Porque eso lo voy a pasar a las personas que nos van a visitar el día de ahora de, de, de UK, ¿ok? Y ellos quieren ver cómo están porque ellos son los clients, ¿ok? Bueno, está bien, dice Sabrina. Entonces, empieza a hacer este report y pone unas observaciones abajo, ¿verdad? O sea, tiene que ser muy crítica en lo que está haciendo y decir lo que está pasando, ¿ok? Entonces, eso básicamente es un ejemplo de cómo ustedes pueden hacer un report acerca del performance de uh, someone, ¿ok? De alguien en, en su trabajo. So, let's read this employee's performance report. Vamos a leer este performance report de Raúl y Karen, guys. And, and then... You will get in pairs and discuss, discuss, sorry, why should Mr. Perez and Ms. Solano should be promoted? Support your answers, okay? Luego, guys, 
fíjense bien, les estoy dando la situación. Ustedes son Sabrina, todos somos Sabrina. We are Sabrina, ¿ok? Then, guys, a Sabrina le dice el jefe, ¿ok? Sabrina, me hace este reporte y luego necesito que por favor me brinde un feedback. ¿Qué ¿okay? feedback? Una retroalimentación. Eh, ¿De por qué cree usted? Porque le soy, me, usted me está dando la información de dos employees, de Raúl Pérez y Karen Solano. Ok, so necesito que me digan, guys, pongan atención, porque esto lo vamos a hacer en los breaker rooms. So necesito que usted me diga por qué debería de ser promovido los dos. Usted me va a hablar de lo bueno y lo malo de ellos, pero ¿por qué cree usted que tienen que ser promovidos? Me tiene que dar una razón. Y usted me va a contestar de la siguiente manera, Sabrina. I think, yo pienso, ok. I think, me lo va a llenar con el nombre de cada uno. Aquí, por ejemplo, ustedes van a discutir con su pair. Y, y le van a decir como que, es, si por ejemplo, Julio y Sabrina, yo lo pongo un break room. Julio va a ser el, el, el jefe, ¿verdad? Y Sabrina va a ser el employee. Entonces, Julio le va a decir, why should Mr. Pérez and Miss, Miss Solano should be promoted? Y Sabrina le va a contestar, I think mm, Mr. Pérez, ok, I think Mr. Pérez should be promoted because, y luego Sabrina tiene que buscar algo, algo, algo que haya visto bueno de Mr. Pérez. Por ejemplo, because he doesn't violate, violate rules, because he shows commitment to work, because he's uh, collaborative, because has a positive attitude, etc. ¿Sí? Y luego le va a decir, ok, what about Miss Solor Solano? Le va a decir Julio. Ok, I think Miss Solano should be promoted because... Y luego va a buscar cosas buenas de Miss Solano. Prácticamente es un reporte es, es escrito, que usted ya está aquí, el escrito. Y speaking, ok, hablado, oral, con su jefe. Por eso lo vamos a poner en pared. ¿Me entendieron la situación que vamos a desarrollar ahorita, guys? Are you following yes, me? Yes. Yes, of okay, great. If you have questions, let me know. So let me uh, stop sharing, guys. Y vamos a tener esta conversación. Este es un role play. Okay. ¿Qué pasa cuando Sabrina termine de darle su reporte a, a Julio? Van a cambiar papeles. Sabrina va a ser su jefa, Julio, y usted va a ser el employee. Y la misma pregunta le va a decir, ok, Julio. So, um, why should Mr. Pérez o Miss Solano should be promoted, Julio? Y usted le va a dar sus respuestas basado en lo que leyó. Quiere decir, guys, que ahorita ustedes van a tener cinco minutos, ¿ok? Para leerlo. Y luego, ustedes van a empezar a discutir con su pair, all right? So, let me make the breaker rooms, all right? While I am... Uh, Creating the breaker rooms, guys, you will be able to read. Ok, let's read. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para leer ahorita mientras yo estoy creando los breaker rooms. All right, let's start reading it, please.
guys, sorry, ahorita los estoy asignando los breaker rooms. Eh, denle click con join. Oh, no yet. Angela y Daniel y sí que todavía no. Antes que se me vayan, les voy a pasar la lista. Sorry. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cristian José López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Present. Florentina García. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Julio César Merino González. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Linda Magali García Montoya. Luis Ernesto Come García. Present teacher. Marcos Amel Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. It's raining. Thank you. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos, creo que dijo que tenía inconvenientes. Uh, Marielo present. Janet Cornejo Arazo. Marcos, sí me dijo presente, right? Yes, present. Thank you. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ok, guys. Very good. Ahora sí lo voy a ir asignando. Y empezamos, si ustedes quieren tener otros cinco minutos para ordenar sus ideas de lo que usted va, le va a responder a la otra persona, tomen cinco minutos más y luego otros cinco minutos para la discusión. It means that you will have ten minutes in total with your partner, ¿ok? Ten minutes. So let me go ahead and sure. continue assigning, the, uh, assigning you in the breakout rooms. Dígame, Jonathan. I'm here. Thank you, Jonathan. Uy, is there something wrong, Stephanie? Creo que se salió. Okay, give me a second. Click on join, guys. Los estoy asignando ahorita. Jonathan ya está participating, right? No, teach. No yet? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I'm assigning to you to the breakout rooms, guys. Click on join, guys. Ahorita los estoy asignando. Click on join, guys, please. Can you start the listener ahora?
pakai ini. Jennifer Noemi, are you there? Could you please click on join? Marcos Antonio Melgar, click on join, please. Marcos Antonio Melgar. Click on join. Marcos, dale click and join, please. Julio César Merino, dale click and join, please. Hello, Julio César Merino, are you there? Me falta Julio César Merino y... Ah, no sé qué hice. <laughs> Y sí que él no, disculpe, me fue mi, 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 mi error ah. que lo, lo mandé dos veces eh, sin querer. Lo voy a mandar de nuevo y ahí le da click en join, ¿ok? Ah, ok, gracias. Thank you. Ok, ahorita sí, así que... Julio César Merino, no lo, no lo veo. Hello. Hello, Julio César. Y Raúl Pérez o Karen Solano. Which one? Promote. Uh -huh. For you. For me, I think Karen Solano should be promote because she's a leader and is proactive and um, some case she doesn't a uh, positive attitude, but that can work with training. Okay. Um, I think tengo que decir el nombre. I think uh, Ana Elsa promote because así sería. No, is Karen or uh, Raúl Pérez? Ah, uno de los que están ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Pero esa sería la forma en que lo tengo que decir. Pienso que deben promover a Mr. Pérez. I think... Uh, Hello, Daniel Ezekiel and Jennifer, are you there? Yes. Jennifer, yes. Soy Jennifer, no sé, no me contesto. No. Jennifer, are you there? Sorry, my microphone is uh, ah, okay. off. <laughs> All right, no worries. And um, I have a question, what page? We working. Uh, Thirty seven. Thirty seven. Okay. Okay. We start. Um, Or to answer. 
I will be able to ask and answer simple questions on performance discipline, discipline and behavior. Number two, read the employee's performance report. This, this goes with a partner who is the best candidate to be promoted. Promoted. Prom I don't. I don't think. Um, Teacher. The activity hello? about um, talk about the my partner. No, talk about Jennifer. Uh, yes, you will talk about one of them. Why do you think they should be promoted based on the reading? If you have already read the employee's performance report about Karen Solano and Raul Perez, then you go to discuss why should Mr. Perez or Ms. Solano should be promoted and you need to support the answers by ans uh, answering I think Mr. Perez or I think Ms. Solano should be promoted because, and then you give the reasoning why they should be promoting based on the employee's performance letter, a report, sorry. Okay, I see. Uh, Jennifer, do you have any questions? Mm. I have an I have an idea idea for complete the sentence. Sorry, Jennifer. But vamos a le bueno ya le tenemos una idea, ¿no? Pero lo vamos a leer juntos. Y luego vamos a responder porque creemos que esa persona Exacto. debe ser promovida. Exactly, there you go. Mm -hmm. Ok. Then, Dan Daniel, you start and read the Raúl Pérez, Employee Performance Report, that Raúl Pérez. Okay. Shows the world. Hey, Hello, Jaime. Hi, um, we have a question. Yes. Because Ask in me. the and um, please perform a report to Karen Solano. Uh -huh. In the observation, uh, it's right. She usually complain, but in the and the report mm -hmm. is marked to is always punctual. It's always punch, punctual, right? Punctual, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. And also, we think uh, the report is uh, is wrong. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I believe the report is wrong. That it, it shouldn't have an X, right? No debería de haber una X ahí. O oh, en, en todo caso, pienso yo que sería she usually comes on time. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, I believe no, because it, ha uh, it has a bat. But she does violate the rules. Oh, yes. She, is, she does violate the rules sometimes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But the tendría que says she usually comes on time. But she does violate the rules sometimes. O sea, se does, está como afirmando, ¿verdad? Ella yes. viola la regla sometimes, exactly. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. Um, Let me see, but she... Mm -hmm. Sí, porque el otro sería que no lo pusieron el not, ¿verdad? She doesn't violate the rules. De, déjeme ver. Dice, <coughs> fíjese que yo creo 
She usually comes late. Sí, así tiene que ser. La X está mala, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Y sería she uh, usually comes early. O comes sometime. Lo voy a modificar, le voy a mandar una screenshot. Thank you for letting me know, Jaime. Hey, teacher. Ahorita Thank lo vamos a, a mandar para que todos lo tengan. Yeah, because we uh, we think Karen is uh, Karen should be primary because he's a uh, a proactive and collaborative, and she has a uh, leadership skills. Mm -hmm. Very good, great. Let me get us going I will share just for a moment. So voy a, voy a compartir para modificarlo. Sorry. Okay. Creo que me va a dejar si no mando una fotito. Just one second. The mark is well, teacher. Uh, yes, right. You're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. Sería así, ¿verdad? She usually comes on time, but she does well. Uh -huh. Great. Yes. It, it let, it let me do it. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Did you finish discussing? Uh, I think yes. yes. <laughs> really? Very good. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, Let thanks. me just review the others. How are they going? And then we will go back to the main room. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Miss almost I I checks what is the error. Yes. Yes, but What's the error. Did you correct it, correct it? Sorry guys. Yeah. What is the, the because she is she always is punctual, uh -huh. but uh -huh. in the observation she usually comes in right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we are to discuss with Stella. Stella, the so uh, the answer yeah, for okay. her is mm -hmm. is Raúl Pérez is the best candidate to uh, to to what to candidate to be a candidate. To be promoted. Thank you, Daniel. Let me see in the other rooms and let's come back to the main room then since you're finished, guys. Okay. And thank you very much. Okay. okay. I, I, I will to the I will go to the other breakout rooms just to confirm if they finish already. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um two, two or three problems. For example, say she usually comes late. And another thing, she does. Yeah. 
Three times the lemma. Is about a is about a attitude, Mr. Miss uh, Karen Solano has a about attitude. Is she is bad attitude? Yes. Okay. It is not a ele election. She no she election. For me, she is not a good a, a good candidate. It's yeah. not a good a candidate. candidate. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. It's, it's not a good candidate for me because Mr. Perez is is. Me confunde. I get confused. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pero pero siento que sí como que todavía me va costando eso ocuparlo en el futuro. Pero ahorita estamos viendo presente, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, teacher. <coughs> Hello, guys. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. We were talking about the formula. formula. Oh, okay. Formula. <laughs> All right. Thank you, girls. Thank you for finishing. Let's go back to the make uh, to the breakout rooms. If you finish. However, okay. we're still uh, waiting just for one group. Yeah. If you would like to continue discussing, that's fine. We will wait just two more minutes and we will go back, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Entonces, a mí, what is, what is bear, be promote, promote is, I think. Promover. <laughs> okay. So. I, I, that is. They have a church in a company. Okay. So, I think Raúl Pérez. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think Karen Solano should be promoted. Okay. Also, she doesn't have a positive attitude in some case, but <laughs> she has leadership skills. I think skills. be a leadership, it's a good quality to be promoted. Mm, I, I think that positive attitude is a very important uh, quality. And Karen Solano has not this while well, the end um she she does violate the rules sometimes and usually comes late and mm. Mm. i think i she she's not appropriate for uh no, no me puedo expresar en inglés. <laughs> I think, I think, I think. The idea is to express the positive, positive attitude for these two person. Yes. I think yes. should be promoted because he has a positive attitude. Ari, Ari, to and
collaborative and it does not violate rules. This is important. Hello, hello guys. Thank you for joining back. Let's wait for the other ones to join. Vamos a esperar los demás guys. Are you here guys? Yes, no? <clears throat> yes, yes, right? Yes. Okay guys, so in the same pairs that, we, that you were working on, con las mismas parejas que estaban trabajando, vamos a tener just five minutes to ask questions. Vamos a hacer preguntas, yes, no questions, okay? Y estas preguntas que si ustedes se fijan, no son en presente continuous. Um, básicamente este es un reading. Como les dije de repente, guys, ustedes se van a encontrar con readings, con listening, con speaking, que ustedes tienen que poner en práctica todos los que han, han eh, aprendido. Y este es un ejemplo. En, este, en esta actividad, si ustedes se fijan, ustedes van a hacer preguntas con el presente simple. ¿Sí? Ustedes ya vieron el presente simple. So, for, for example, eh, de hecho, no solamente con el present simple, sino que también podemos hacer preguntas con ver to be, dependiendo de qué es lo que tienen arriba del reporte. Ustedes, como ya leyeron el reporte, ¿sí? Ahora ustedes van a hacer preguntas. Teacher, ¿pero con qué tiempo? Dependiendo de lo que diga el reporte. ¿Con qué estructura, teacher? Dependiendo de lo que diga el reporte. Usted va a ir haciendo preguntas así. All right. Y va a ir re respondiendo o escribiendo las respuestas abajo. All right. Por eso lo vamos a hacer en pareja. Así que pues una, una persona puede responder acerca de Mr. Pérez y la otra persona solamente de Mr. Solano. Por ejemplo, Marina puede responder solo de Miss, Miss Solano y Jaime solo de Mr. Pérez. All right. eh, en ese caso... Jaime le pregunta a Marina y Marina Jaime, etc. All right? So, vamos a tener five uh, minutes to do it. And then you come back. Okay? Questions about this? Preguntas, guys? In oral form. Okay? In oral form. Okay? Speaking, guys. Speaking. Si no tiene tiempo de escribirlas acá, no importa. Hágalo oral. Que eso prevalezca más. All right? Que lo he escrito. Por eso le voy a dar cinco minutos para hacerlo, para que lo vaya haciendo de manera oral. En ese momento trate de recordar la fórmula. Si usted escucha que su compañero lo está haciendo mal, corríjalo, ayúdele. All right? Pero la cosa es practicar el speaking. Preguntas, yes, no questions. All right? In English. So, let's go back to the, to the breakout rooms, guys. Vamos a seguir con los breakout rooms. Five minutes, okay? Go back to the breakout rooms, please.
Marcos Antonio, click on join, please. Hello guys, eh, Marielos está acá para que practique con ustedes también en caso que Lisette tiene problemas. Tenga problemas, okay. Julio. All right? Ok. Perfect. Ok. Sí. Hi, Julio. Are you? Are you there? Mr. Solano. Is Mr. Solano a positive leadership skill? Yes, she has leadership skills. And does he? Uh, does Raul does Raul have a posit positive attitude? Excuse me, I don't listen. You can repeat. Um, does Raul have a positive attitude? Um, Is my question cor correct, teacher? I think it's fine. I do. Teacher. Hello, hello, guys. Sorry. What is the pronunciation for positive attitude? Attitude. Attitude. Mm -hmm. it's attitude. Attitude, exactly. Attitude, okay. Then my question is. Sería, ¿por qué es? ¿Por qué es tercera persona? No, pero yo dije, das. Ah, das. Ajá. Does Mr. Miss Solano? Yes. Yes. He have a, a positive attitude. No, he is a, he is a Karen Solano. Mr. is not No, 
Frango. Ok. Perhaps, Mr. Carlos Solano, positive attitude. attitude. No, she is. I use some of the verb be, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Seria, is he, is he has a positive attitude? Mm. Positive attitude? Sorry, girls, it should, it should be does, does he does. have? Mm -hmm. That's exactly. ¿Y cuándo es das, teacher? ¿Y cuándo es is? Good question. Um, das, when we are not talking about verb to be. Cuando estamos hablando de verb to be. Y el is es cuando estamos hablando de verb to be. Es cuando se habla de verb to be es is, are, or am. Pero si en se este habla de verb to teacher, be... Todas las acciones, todas las oraciones donde empiezan con is serían verb be. En la mm, question. No todas porque unas caerían en present continuous, ¿verdad? Porque el verb to be se ocupa en diferentes estructuras también. Pero, mm. eh, por ejemplo, Fátima, tenemos muchos verbos, ¿verdad? Y uno de los verbos es verb to be. El verb to be es muy importante. Por eso en inglés siempre se estudia aparte. Decimos verb to be. Pero, por ejemplo, si usted tiene eat, watch, y en este caso es have, ¿verdad? Los otros verbos lo ocupamos con el do, el das, en present simple. Por eso es que ocupamos el, el das o el do con el have. Porque estamos hablando de tener actitud. Uh -huh. Pero en este caso, que tenemos estos ejemplos, podemos guiarnos en que si empieza con is, vamos a usar en la oración el verb be. Ajá, o, exactly. En la respuesta, ¿verdad? Si dice en la is, respuesta, ajá. Is uh, Daniel responsible? Yes, he is, uh -huh. right? Porque okay. empieza con el is. Ajá, cuando, usted, cuando usted vea, porque ese es el auxiliar. El auxiliar uh -huh. con que empieza la oración, con ese va a contestar. Uh -huh. Si empieza con un verbo como tal, ya vamos a usar el, el das en este caso, porque estamos hablando solo de he, she. Uh -huh. Con otro verbo que no sea verb to be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, con cualquier otro verbo que no sea be. Okay. Exacto. Ya vamos, Denise, ahorita vamos a regresar para ver el, el, el pasado del verb to be, donde vamos a tener un poquito de review acerca de esto. Porque yo sé que se confunde a veces hoy. Yo me confundía también en esta donde dice has a posit positive actitude. Uh -huh. Porque por el has pensé que era have en la pregunta. Uh -huh. El auxiliary have. Pero como es en tercera persona, es, tiene que ser a has. Right? Pero tiene que ser. Ajá, no, pero pensé que se usaba el. Ah, el, 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 el das. Have. Sorry, no, ajá, tiene que ser el ajá, das. Ajá, y es el das. Exacto, exacto. En pregunta, en yes no question, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. en ya ese veo. caso sería eh, das. He has a positive attitude. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Das, ajá. Uh -huh. That he has a positive attitude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahorita vamos a ver un review okay. de eso. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Y si empieza en das? Si empieza that, con das. Does not by all, by all rules. Oh, okay. Doesn't, doesn't she violet? Violet sería el verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí solamente tiene que ver el verbo, Fátima. Si es, por ejemplo, vaya, por ejemplo, eh, Raúl is a leader, dice. El único verbo que está ahí es is. Entonces, se dice, ah, ver to be, dice usted. Uh -huh. El uh -huh. otro que dice, is proactive, is es el verbo. Is collaborative, is es el verbo. Entonces, con esas usted va 
a hacer la pregunta con el is, con el verbo to be, porque no hay otro verbo, ¿verdad? En cambio, Pero, si usted ya ve los otros, sorry. En la tercera de, de Raúl, dice does not violate. Does not violate rules, exactly. Entonces ahí sí sería un simple present, solo que en, en pasado, perdón, en negative. Que entonces usted para hacer la pregunta, usted puede decir, does Raúl violate rules? No, he doesn't, right? Okay. Uh -huh. O si lo quiere hacer en pasado, en negativo también puede decir, doesn't Raúl violate rules? Doesn't. Okay. Uh -huh. O si no, does Raúl violate, violate rules? Porque no está el verbo to be ahí. Uh -huh. Solamente lo vamos a poner en el verbo to be, donde de hecho ahorita vamos a ver eso. Y si la hicieron uh -huh. negativa, teacher, no solo das um, Raúl Violet Rose, my answer sería yes, he is. Yes, no, porque he está does. diciendo que sí la viola. Entonces dice no, doesn't, doesn't Raúl Violet Rules. Sería, no, he doesn't. Ajá, pero eso sería se... mejor hacerlo en, en positivo. En, ajá, mejor en positivo. En afirmativo. Si no sé ajá, en afirmativo sería mejor. Uh -huh. Porque eso de, 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 de poner las preguntas como en negativo es como que no hice algo. Como que, ajá, como que cuando hay una duda, ¿verdad? Por, ajá, sí, así lo siento. Uh -huh. Does Raúl violet rules? Exactly. Vamos a regresar oh, al breakout room, guys. Okay. Y vamos a tratar de, de declarar unos puntos siempre enfocando el verb to be, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Thank girl. you, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Let's wait for the other ones to join back, okay? Vamos a esperar los demás, guys. And let me share the screen. Okay, are you there? Todos estamos acá. Creo que falta, right? There are some missing. Yes. There are missing eight, seven, six, five, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. So they are here. <laughs> Hello guys, thank you for joining back. I believe everyone is here now. Okay guys, so um, thank you for discussing. Thank you for speaking in English with your class mate. I really appreciate it. I hope that you continue learning a lot by doing those activities guys. So, um, Whenever we were making those questions, yes, no questions, I know that there might be some uh, doubts or some questions, guys, that might be confusing yourself, okay? And it's normal. For example, whenever you're making questions with, um, let's say, whenever, guys, you're making questions with verb to be, okay, uh, or simple present, let's say, all right? There is a big difference by making questions. For example, I can say, is Raul a leader? Yes, no, right? No, no. no he isn't. No, he isn't, very good, sorry. No, he isn't. No, he isn't, right? 
Ok, ahora vea la estructura como yo hice la pregunta en yes no question. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si yo me voy con esta otra? Que es follows indication. Karen, right? So, yo digo, does Karen follow indications? All right? And the answer is yes, right? Yes. yes. She does. She does. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes, guys, and it's normal. We might be confusing these two uh, structures, okay? The verb to be with the, with the simple present. De hecho, es solamente un decir cuando decimos simple present y, lo, y luego decimos verb to be. Al final, los dos pueden estar en presente, los dos en pasado, ¿sí? Pero nosotros muchas veces decimos simple present cuando nos queremos referir a todos los otros verbos a excepción del verbo to be, ¿sí? Porque si no decimos verbo to be en present, verbo to be en past, ¿ok? Pero al final, guys, el verbo to be es también simple present. Lo único que nosotros lo estudiamos de manera individual. ¿Por qué? Porque el simple pre sorry, porque el verbo to be es muy importante en inglés y, y, y con el verbo to be construimos otras estructuras más. Por eso es muy importante estudiarlo en separado. Entonces, acá, guys, solamente tienen que fijarse en qué tipo de estructura ustedes tienen una oración. Acá realmente no hay otro verbo más que el is, ¿verdad? Puede ser que hable de am o de I am o hable de you are, ¿verdad? You are a leader, he is a leader, I am a leader. Entonces, dependiendo de eso, voy a hacer la pregunta, right? Pero, ¿qué pasa con los otros verbos? Como, por ejemplo, shows, uh, let's see, violet, violet uh, likes. Aún estoy, como, eh, estoy un poco como dudosa de, este, de la pronunciación de, de este verbo. Violates, violates, I believe, violates, I violates. Says. Give me a second. One moment. Um, violates, violates. Okay, that's the correct pronunciation. Violates. So, con violates, uh, ¿qué más? Otro verbo que no son ver to be, completes, focus, communicates, ok, has, a positive attitude, de ahí los demás, ok, en green, esos son, ver to be, is always punctual, eh, is a leader, is proactive, is collaborative, esos son el verbo to be, que es con el is, alright, entonces eso creo yo que tenemos como que lograr identificar eso les quería mencionar y realmente lastimosamente eh, no tuvimos mucho tiempo el día de ahora porque yo quería que nos enfocáramos en este speaking uh, practice, en reading practice. No tuvimos mucho tiempo de ver mucho lo del verb to be. ¿Por qué? Porque es una introducción el día de ahora. Toda esta semana creo que vamos a estar estudiando el verb to be en past. Pero eh, nada más les traigo esta introducción ahorita. Later on tomorrow, we will continue with the verb to be. Pero guys, and, um, para ustedes poder diferenciar, y eso creo que ya lo habíamos hablado anteriormente, pero es importante volverlo a mencionar. Para nosotros poder identificar, guys, el verb to be, recuérdense de los usos que tiene el verbo to be. ¿sí? A diferencia de los otros verbos, ¿cuáles son los usos del verbo to be? Los cuales son completamente diferentes. Porque yo puedo decir, ok, puedo decir correr, hablar, jugar, ok. ¿Qué significa correr, jugar y bailar? Significa lo que es, ¿verdad? La acción, ¿sí? Pero ¿qué pasa si yo verbo, yo, sorry, hablo de ser o estar? To be. Cuando yo hablo de ser o estar, tiene, yo puedo expresar muchas eh, muchos usos. El primero de ellos es que yo puedo decir mi nombre, right? Con el verb to be. Yo puedo decir, my name, lo vamos a, eh, lo vamos a enfocar en pasado porque es lo que vamos a ver esta semana. Guys, pasado del verb to be, pero normalmente usted dice, my name is John, right? Pero en pasado, ¿cómo sería? Was, ok? Entonces, Aquí dependiendo de la persona también, recuérdese que el verbo to bien pasado es el was y el were. Was and were, ¿ok? Pero, ¿ok? 
Recuérdense, aquí no va a haber otro verbo, no va a haber ju correr, jugar, saltar, etc. No, run, watch, jump, no. Just is, am, and I am. All right? Lo, los únicos del verbo to be, dependiendo de la persona. All right? So, yo uso el verbo to be, guys, para hablar, para decir mi nombre. My name was John, en pasado. My name was John. Para expresar mi edad, she was 26 years old. La edad, guys, en inglés no se dice yo tengo, ¿verdad? No, sino que se utiliza con el verbo to be. Yo estaba 26 años viejo, ¿verdad? Entonces sería con, con el cero estar. Um, she was 26 years old, all right? También lo utilizamos para expresar nuestra nacionalidad. Nationality. They were Chinese. ¿Ok? También lo ocupamos para job or occupation. Si usted quiere hablar de qué, qué ocupación tiene, qué trabajo tiene, usted dice, we were doctors, we were students, we were, um, let's say, teachers, etc. Right? He was, he was a dancer, etc. Right? También lo ocupamos para locación. Usted, cuando usted quiere decir dónde es que estaba, ok, recuérdense, cero estar, dónde es que estabas, all right? Uh, Susan was at the school. Susan was at the school, all right? Uh, Jaime and Lizette were at the, at the party, all right? Entonces acá estoy expresando locación, ¿sí? Eh, también lo ocupamos para feelings and emotions, all right? For example, they were angry, they were happy, they were dis disgusted, they were stressed, etc. All right? Estamos expresando feelings o emotions, all right? Y también, guys, este no lo puse, pero también es cuando usted quiere describir a alguien, ¿ok? Se puede decir, um, I was fat. Yo era gordito, gordita antes. I was fat. También lo ocupamos para descripción. ¿Sí? Entonces, guys, eso básicamente son los usos del verb to be. ¿Sí? No significa eh, ni saltar, ni jugar, ni, 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 ni ver, ni, ni, ver ni, ni, ni escuchar. Nada más que cero estar. Y estos son los usos. Entonces, lo único que vamos a hablar esta semana de pasado. Que dependiendo de las personas, es was or were. Y eh, just to let you know, tenemos esto. Man. Acá tenemos las personas. Eh, tenemos en singular, tenemos I, you, he, she, or it. Um, y en plural tenemos you, we, and they. All right? So... <clears throat> Una cosa muy importante, el pasado del verb to be, guys. Eh, no sé si ustedes pueden notar que en los otros verbos normalmente el, lo que cambia es la tercera persona, ¿verdad? O se le pone is, ¿verdad? Le pone das, etc. Pero con el verb to be, el, además del he, el she o el it, el que se cambia es el I. Usted no dice I were, usted dice I was, ¿ok? Similar a los que ocupan el he, el he, el he, el, el, el she, el it, ¿ok? Entonces el was usted lo va a ocupar para las cuatro personas. El I, I, he, she, or it. Usted dice I was, he was, she was, and it was. I was happy, she was happy, he was Happy, it was happy, all right? Y ya los demás, el singular de you, de usted, es con el were. El plural de you, eh, we, and they, que si son plurales esos dos, es con el were, ¿ok? Los únicos cuatro personas que es con el was, el I, he, she, or it. 
Acuérdense que normalmente en el presente yo decía I am, right? Yo decía I am, yo decía you are, decía he is, she it is, yo decía you are. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Sorry. Um, yo decía, you, you are, we are, and they are. Decíamos, pero, pero ahora no. Lo vamos a cambiar con el was y con el were. Porque we're talking in past. All right? We're talking in past. Ver to be in past. Si le pueden tomar una fotito a eso, una captura, guys, that would be great. Ok? Repásenlo este cuadrito para el día de mañana. Traten de, si tienen un yes. momento el día de mañana, guys, eh, estudiar este cuadrito, aprendérselo, memorizárselo, es muy importante. Si pueden hacerlo para mañana, that would be awesome. And I will thank you very much for that, okay? Tomorrow we will continue with this, uh, with this topic, which is verb to be in past. Vamos a hablar del verb to be in past, pero antes que se vayan, guys, quisiera saber si if you have questions about the difference between verb to be and the other verbs. No? Maybe tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow we'll have more questions. Now I want to sleep. <laughs> All right. So, guys, let's go to sleep. Let's go to rest. Thank you for joining to this class. Um, I will go through the attendance list. Once you say present, you are more than welcome to go, okay? So- My bet. I, I just Roll want my to bet. reconfirm. Uh, who wants to stay with me? Sabrina Lizette Garcia, could you stay with me today in the one-on-one -on -one session? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay, voy a pasar a lista, guys. Les deseo que tengan una excelente noche and see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you Thank for joining you. the class. Bye-bye, guys. Solamente paso la lista, all right? Let's see. Give me just a second. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Daniel Isiquiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Bye bye. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present. Good night. Good night. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Noemi Matarago. Present. Bye bye. Jessica El Carmen bye -bye. Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Bye bye, Jessica. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Julio César Merino González. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Good night. Jenny Lizeth Cuer de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Bye bye. Linda Magalí García Montoya. Good night. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Bye bye, Luis. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher, bye bye. Bye bye. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher, good night. Bye bye, take care. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher, bye bye. Bye bye, take care. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher, bye. Bye, take care. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Lisa del Carmen Hernández Smith. Good night, Osvin. Present. Bye, Lizette. Fátima Denis Aguilar Márquez. And Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Hello, hello, Sabrina. How are you today? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking me, Sabrina. And well, it's a pleasure to see you. And um, I want to know, how can I help you in this course, Sabrina? Um, I know that whenever we are going to the next 
level or to the next course, there are always more questions. It is because we are learning, all right? And I thank you very much for asking me questions all the time. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it really help us, all right? All of us, it really help us. So thank you and please continue asking me questions. <laughs> this is, Sometimes this is my I only get confused. <laughs> no, Sometimes it's fine. I get confused for my own question. <laughs> no, and it's fine. That's what, it, what happens. So, Serena. Tell me, what can I do for you today? Any feedback, any comments, anything that I can do, anything that you would like to reinforce, to practice, another explanation, tell me. If you have a topic that you would like to discuss and we haven't learned the topic or we haven't discussed or we haven't practiced it, let me know. I can help you. Well, because we are talking about present perfect, no. Present continuous, mm -hmm. it's easy. It's, I, I, it's easy for me. But when we talk about future with, with the verb going to, with the verb with ing, is more difficult. Because um, I, I prefer, I prefer to use I'm going to, that I'm visiting. But I know that is the future. But with the topic in this level, I think I was. I am okay. Okay. We, we were talking about, uh, we were talking with, with Marina that some words we try to translate to Spanish. Yeah. For example, <laughs> when we, and that is not correct, I know. <laughs> but because, for example, uh, I, I was talking about the the phrase how is it going uh -huh. <laughs> how is it going el, el how is it going casi que no lo entiendo en español pero es como el qué ondas verdad el, el, uh -huh. el qué pasó no es bastante uh -huh. informal ah <laughs> uh, yes so, yes it's a little bit informal but you can use it how's it going it's is i mean we do have more informal ones like, how is it going? Realmente no es tan, tan informal como se diga, porque it is like, ¿cómo le está yendo? Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo le está yendo? ¿Cómo le está? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo le trata la vida? No, no, es como, uh -huh. ¿cómo está yendo? ¿Cómo le está yendo uh -huh. a usted? Así, eso es lo, como, how is it going? Entonces, no, 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 I believe it's not. It's, it's fine. I mean, you can use it in a formal and an informal way. But what's up? Or, hey, what's cooking? Hay otra que es, what's cooking? Nada que ver, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What's cooking? <laughs> Eso sí son and, and very informal. We were talking co with Marina, and we told when when I watch series, uh, uh, it's all it's all the formulas is all and it's too fast and mm -hmm. it's not necessary and the contraction is very very common the contractions and and that is means uno va tratando de ver las cosas ¿verdad? ahí se va uniendo todo mm -hmm. but but exactly. i think that that i'm okay i'm trying and and how is your um speaking skill? Is it better? Because I, I understand you're practicing, right? Yes, yes. Are you still practicing? I try. I try. I try. Yes. For example, I, I try to to think in 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 English. For example, when we are when I am uh, think about something. And I try to think how I uh, will say that mm -hmm. if I am speaking English. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and perfect. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I am thinking how I will say that. Or, or sometimes I'm, I am talking alone. That is 
Uh, Sabrina, that is whenever you are internalizing the the language, whenever you do that. So you are in a good, you are in a good uh, way right now. Vamos bien, yes. super bien. You're in a good way. Whenever you do so, whenever you confuse the words and whenever you you start speaking in English, oh my God, you're lost. You're lost in the language. Yes, yes, because because I, 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 re I remember that I was talking with my boss and with my coworker and we were talking about the next patient and, and something. Yeah. I don't remember so much. And and they they talk about something something wrong and I say don't worry <laughs> and my boss say excuse me excuse me it was like that <laughs> and, he, and, and he can speak English uh, uh, don't worry yes and, and he continued to speak <laughs> and I say sorry okay I was <laughs> kidding it was just an expression let's stop speaking English let's continue <laughs> with it <laughs> <laughs> because I say, don't worry, be happy, and let's continue. Yeah, and, and it was para presumir. Dicen ellos, no, se lo comento que no era para presumir, me equivoqué. Mm -hmm. No, you, your answer should be like, okay, it is because I am internalizing the English. Like, all my body, yeah. all my mind is internalizing the English. It is like so, that. Or sometimes, I, for example, like, I like to write, write something. Well, I, I remember that with my mom, we were a project on the pandemic mm -hmm. and we write. With your mom? Like, with my mom. My mom like to, likes to read and write, and, and, okay. but more, more read. Oh, I, like, I like writing too. And, and I remember that for the pandemic, on the pandemic, two years mm -hmm. ago, and he told me that for all the depression in the home and, and everything that the, the troubles we, we were mm -hmm. from uh, uh, while the pandemic, he told me uh, that I write mm -hmm. like a notebook. No, mm -hmm. a diario, personal. A diary? Di diary mm -hmm. for, for, for all the things and every day that can can help me and, and wow. for more positive. And and I and I have my, my diary, but sometimes uh, some some page are in English and some page are in, in Spanish. For example, <laughs> because I, I start in Spanish, but uh, until I since I I am studying English, I start to write in English my diary. Wow, that's interesting. And, and and that is and I think that it helped me. And and after and after right, I, I review that the formulas and, and and the grammar is, is right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you know what? This is one of the activities that help us a lot. Yes. Um to not only with the vocabulary but also with the writing and skills. And with the reading, to go ahead and start writing a diary, that helps us a lot to start writing. And that's good. That's why I can see that you have learned a lot. And that is my secret because nobody can read them. <laughs> and if they read them, mm -hmm. they kill and understand. <laughs> exactly. Well, congratulations because you're doing so. And let's don't stop doing it because believe me that that's gonna be helping you a lot like don't give up like don't never stop doing it that would be my best recommendation like don't stop doing it because if you stop believe me you will lose the track you will lose the track at the moment that you are learning right and in, in this language sabrina is very important to con to constantly practicing this, I mean, to continue practicing this this language in order for you to maybe not to forget it, but to practice it and don't don't not to lose the track, right? Then that's gonna be helping you a lot. Because if you stop practicing, believe me, that later on it's gonna be difficult to go ahead and 
and be on the same page again. So you better to con you better continuing uh, learning. Like if you are not just imagine, just by putting an example. Let's say tomorrow you won't continue with English corporativo. I don't know for any reason. So you should at least do something to continue practicing. That's uh, an example of this is reading, right? You can continue reading, you can continue writing, you can continue watching movies and uh, speaking with another person. Try to apply the four skills, right? Not only like the listening and speaking, but also writing and reading. So it's very important to continue practicing. And that is the reason why you learn more because you continue practice and practice. So that's good, Sabrina. Don't stop doing this. Yes, I remember that when I started the classes, uh, my sister uh, gave me um, my notebook and say, never give up. <laughs> oh, and never give up, Sabrina. Never give never up. Give okay? up. <laughs> yes, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you guys because you're doing it awesome. Sometimes you might think, Sabrina, ah, but you know what? This course is not going to be helping me. Um, and also, if I were in another year, in another place, I don't know, in another circumstances, I won't believe that this learning can be possible. And it's, it's being possible. So I'm surprised uh, because, not surprised, it is because at the end it's part of our effort as well. I mean, your effort, guys, my effort, our effort, right? At least, I mean, we're getting all the fruits, we're getting all the everything that we need because we have work for that. But as I mentioned, if I were in another circumstances, I won't believe that you're speaking in English right now, even though we are not in uh, in a face-to-face -face conversation, in a face-to-face -face learning environment. We are here through the through the camera, right? Through the computer, through the phone, etc. So it's awesome. It's awesome how we can go ahead and improve everything so we can make it happen. And I I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful because uh, I remember that when I start to work, I, I, well, I studied English when I was in the school. I remember that I studied on Saturdays uh, because it's my, it's my mom's dreams that I speak really? English. <laughs> yes, he always, he always told me that I have to speak English. And after that, I have to now sign language. Mm -hmm. mm. And, and I want that, and she wants to, because we oh. are very similar. We are oh. very, very similar. For that, I, she is my best friend, because we do many things together. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so um, I remember that when I was a child, she always uh, made me watch. Uh, made me watch. Uh, do you remember Plaza Sesamo in yes. English? Yes. Tingo, Tingo. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that I watched all the series. And, wow. and yes, because she saw me in in Lucy. I remember. No, no recuerdo si era Lucy. ¿Cómo se llamaba? I'm La, so bad at names, Sabrina. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm bad at me. And, and he told me that that I remember he always wants I, I speak in English. When I start to work with all for the time, for the circumstance, and for all of that, I couldn't for him. I, I worked three years mm -hmm. without studying English. Mm -hmm. And and after that, uh, got good help with the good help. Mm -hmm. uh, and my my co-worker told me about English co corporativo and I say it's so good for me 
real. For to be real, uh -huh. <laughs> For to be real because I know, and and I think that is that is incredible because in my home throughout the pandemic and while we for example in 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 so todo se fue dando bendito dios mm -hmm. sí, because no, no. with with um well i am jehovah witness and i remember that i talk jehovah please i want to study english but work to my to help my my family and i say uh, i didn't want internet wi-fi and after and i can be puede ser un espacio eh, and put wi-fi in my house mm. and after that i didn't want i didn't have a, a computer mm -hmm. and someone gave me a computer wow and, yes, <laughs> to my to my brothers to to my brothers so i have two computers Wow, and that's when, like a blessing. When, when my brother is using this computer, my other brother told me he's pure. And oh, all that, wow. and I say, todo se fue dando. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a really, it's a great opportunity. Yes, so you got a lot of blessings at the same time. And that's really awesome to hear that you took advantage of this. I mean, you took the opportunity, you took advantage and you continue taking advantage of this. And that's that's great, that's great, Sabrina. Thank you for sharing that with me. That is so meaningful for us to know thanks, those thanks, successes. Thanks to you, teacher. Thanks to you for Sorry. everything. <laughs> You're welcome, it's a pleasure, Sabrina. And whenever you have any question, you have, I mean, you have never, like, you know, sent me a WhatsApp or something in order to ask me for help. But it's fine because I can see your progress, right? But if you need any help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp group or on my phone. You're more than welcome. You can count on me, okay? If I, if I'm by any chance, I, I don't know, by any chance I don't continue with you in the future, you will be, I mean, you will be always counting on me. I never forget about my students. Believe me. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you. Serena. And it's been Good a pleasure night. to talk God to you. God bless you, teacher. God bless you too. Bye-bye.